Okay, now I illustrate what it is a simulation file. We will do tens of simulation files uh, in, in these uh, 10 days, so, uh, so at the end you will be bored <coughs> with the simulation file, but for now you don't know what it is. So I already mentioned that you have different flavors of simulation files. The, uh, the two we see in these things will be the scene file and the Luca file, uh, which need two types for doing for doing uh, uh, simulation. We have a ESP. There is a further one a type of simulation, which is the test file, which is in the actually uh, this. I didn't mention this because uh, this is more uh, a use for developers. Quest that when you develop <coughs> one thing, you should also at the same time develop a, a test for your software the, from the very beginning to know what, what is expected to, to estimate what the software is expected to do. So, at the, uh, and when you, okay, usually when the, you develop software, the first problem is to have your software to run and giving a hell of many results. But the second step is to, to give some reasonable results. You have to do some controls. So you set up some tests that say, oh, this in this case has to do these things, and the result is the, this one. The test uh, unit uh, is made for me being able to do this. And then the, the next time you say, oh, I do this improvement to my software. And then you do the software, nothing is running. And, uh, but at the, at the first time, you don't <coughs> want to obtain a different result from the physical point of view. You just want to uh, maybe to make the software running faster or, uh, or other things, or maybe adding some features. But you still do have to preserve the, the results that you want to obtain. So the test part is to use this, this thing. Inside. Inside the Java, there is a, a, a inside the OMS, uh, there is a, 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 a routine, a program that is called simulation builders that take these sim files and produce and uh, produce the code that is necessary to be executed and schedule your your task. <coughs> so this is the very first the very first sim uh, piece of simulation files that, that we see. And uh, you have uh, several fields that we, uh, that we, 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 we can see. That see th the first uh, simulation file has some work and uh, a sim, a sim, uh, uh, a sim uh, uh, and a name of, uh, of the simulation we want to do. <coughs> the name of the simulation that we want to do is not necessary. Uh, it's written here below. Uh, we will use this uh, uh, question mark to say that, OK, for the name of the simulation is not actually due. You can have one or zero, meaning you can have one name of the simulation file. Because uh, we are all lazy, some of the simulation my guys do, they don't take care, they don't put the name. <laughs> and we will see some, some simulation. But uh, for uh, a good practice would be to put the name. Just for, uh, for taking track of what you are doing, actually. And uh, then we have, uh, uh, this is the first the first step, as you see, there are uh, um, uh, curly brackets that enclose the things that stand inside the simulation. This is according to who knows C, C or C++, Java, or similar languages programming. Just a minimum. Yeah, this is the way that you normally use in those in 
the syntax of those languages for uh, enclosing uh, part of the environment. Uh, okay, there is one line which is not uh, uh, described here, which is uh, define the model. Define the model is uh, actually a comment in C, C++, Java, Groovy, and similar languages, one like comment are uh, um, at the beginning the, they have two backslashes. Two, two slash, sorry, backslash if they have a lot. <coughs> so the, the, the define the model in, in green here is a comment. Now inside we have a new part of the environment which is specifying the model we are doing in our simulation. And also the, no the model has a name, in this particular example here, is <coughs> written the so-called Tor White model of evapotranspiration, an old model for evapotranspiration, which is still used in some uh, fields, but I don't believe it's true. But that's another question. <coughs> and uh, in the and internally we have a further enclosure which is the parameter of this model. And here we see uh, what is, is meant in the SIMI file for parameters. It's meant essentially two things. The input and the output file. Uh, there is an input file which is internally co uh, called here climate file. And uh, in this case the the climate file is a, a climate CST uh, comma separator. I don't remember what this CSD stands for, so but it is a variation of the comma separated value file that uh, can be read from uh, um, from uh, OMS. And um, there is this file which is uh, uh, because it's the <coughs> name of the file we use the quote to put the name, meaning uh, this also has a precise meaning for the, for the compiler because this is read like a, a string of characters. Quotes mean strings. And we have an output file, uh, as many of us do, output.csv is the output file. Fortunately, we have a structure of the directory that preserve us to con confuse output, output file, but this is a deprecable way of doing things because a name should be more ex explicative. Otherwise, sooner or later, we fi you finish for, for uh, override your files and uh, ma making uh, uh, wrong, wrong things. And you say, oh, I will never confuse two output files, but I can tell you that I did several times in my life. So maybe I am not so, <laughs> maybe someone of you is more careful, but I think it's more careful and <laughs> just <laughs> change the name to a more reasonable thing. Uh, finally, this model has three, three parameters, re real parameters as you mean usually, which has been three numbers. Uh, runoff factors, latitude, and sync up. And these three parameters are input parameters for the model, and they are set here to 0 0.5, 35 to 200. I don't actually know in this case what this parameter means for, from the, from, for the model. And uh, obviously you can change any one of them. <coughs> any simulation can, can differ from uh, from these parameters because you use different input file, different output file, and different parameter values parameters. And we do in a few minutes. But, but there is no data here. And, and how fact. Yeah. No, the output, the, the input, yes. So, is but, uh, sorry, I missed something. But uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, well, uh, um, Emanuele asked, where are the data here? There is no input and no output. The data are in the climate file, which is an input, and the output file, which is an output. So it, it, it looks like the, your, your model, which is the, the, the torque wave 
formula. Okay, I can imagine that it's a not turtle weight formula, but a turtle to weight model, for instance. Yes. It's a big difference. And, 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 uh, and this model has a two um, parameter, two, two string parameters. Yes. Which is the, the name of the, of the input file and the, the name. I would, yes. So, but I, I, sh I would like to drop that. I don't want to. Uh, but I should imagine, I, sh I should like, I would like uh, to see something that uh, is more explicative. Yes, but it's okay. I, 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 we I, will go more explicative. I, I, I have the, the data. So I don't want to see the, 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 name, the, the name of the files. I, I, I want to see as a data as input and data as output. I don't understand exactly what you, but you we, can, we can, we don't, I don't understand exactly, maybe we talk later about, but you can do any things to the, because the, if the model is written that way, you can have a model that uh, take a file that has the, the real input data for the model and the file that has the, the, the real, you, you can reparameterize these things. You can write input and output, for instance, and having a file that contains all the input files and the file that contains all the output files. But this then has to be written inside the component that you use. But um, okay, uh, one aspect here is. Uh, that, uh, uh, you know, that is related to what Emanuele observed, is how you know that this model has this input data and output data. You have two ways to do it. One is to go to browse the code, but then you have to learn Java in this case, which is not for the normal user. The other, you have to rely on some documentation and the very bare bone uh, documentation is this one, which is, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the something which is called climate file that you have produced. <coughs> and something that is uh, uh, some output files. Output is kind of explicative, but climate data is very, not very much explicative because you, at the end, you don't know in principle. I know that is an input data. But uh, you don't know by reading the first time if it is an input or an output or whatever else. Okay. So uh, you can rely on <coughs> other documentation that we, that the, 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 um, the provider of the software has to give you. Um, in the codes uh, where we are using, unfortunately, not always this is clear. But this is part of producing software as in research. And uh, in putting down the things for this class, actually, we, uh, uh, I, I know, I knew, I knew before that. But for instance, uh, my collaborators didn't reflect on this fact. That this information was never uh, delivered properly. They, it was delivered between my, my students. This information is delivered by talking each other. There is a chain that uh, goes from students to students since 10 years and everybody tells the other what, <laughs> what is going on. And, but uh, we are a little bit smiling, but uh, this is the way we, we are used to do in, in research. There are a bunch of codes which are absolutely <laughs> undocumented in the sense that the, the people that use them are not perfectly what they do. And then there is one guy uh, there is one guy that knows uh, how are the input file, what, what are the output file, but it's not written anywhere. <laughs> so if he, for a strong uh, reason in, a, in a, a day, all these guys goes in an airplane, the airplane crash, and not everybody is using <laughs> that, 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 uh, uh, Okay, I not cannot do in front of the, do particular <laughs> strange things that it, uh, we Italian use against these, these <laughs> things. <laughs> but <laughs> but the way he, uh, yeah, uh, the code that we write, and this is it, but also the, what we, we do essentially should be documented at the point that we don't need any more oral transmission.
documentation of the land. One should take all the documentation ready. So we um, uh, we try to do a little. Our source code, anyway, anyway, is here, and the source code <laughs> is the ultimate uh, way to do to do these things. Um, so if I die today, <laughs> I don't want to. Now let's say hypothetically, I for some reason I don't want to. to uh, let's say the die dies is too hard. I don't. Uh, uh, let's say I don't want to do. For some reason, I don't want to do any more these things. All of them has to do to finish uh, their PhD. So what they have to do? At least they have the source code. Uh, source code is written in a language that thousands, millions of people uh, maybe knows, know. And uh, so they can pass a little time, and then they are able to use again the, the, the software to browse the code. It would be better if there is some documentation that uh, explains what the component does. We start producing it, and you can find uh, some of the documentation that was uploaded for this class in the OSF uh, re repository. And uh, this is a good practice that I also tells you to do. For instance, using one uh, things like this, like a open science framework, or there are other framework where for documenting you what you are doing. I ask from now. I ask to all my PhD students to open their own open science framework page, where to put all the work they do. So we can. It's also a way to communicate to see what is missing, to maintain your own, to, uh, to send to history your work, even if it is wrong in, in, at the beginning. At the beginning, oh, we do all, for definition in science, we do wrong things. But uh, we build on wrong things and uh, we dec decrease the, all this stuff. So at least we have to do these two things. This is not perfect so far in this case. And uh, this is one of the reasons we are doing this class also for communicating what is missing in part. Anyway, to go back to the main question, a SIM file is uh, usually more co complicated than the, the one you see before. The, uh, the, the SIM file that we saw before is uh, uh, a bare bone si simulation file, just parameters. Uh, here, uh, and uh, there were some also that were actually mixing, uh, the, the standard simulation files, for instance, the, the water tank model that we used the afternoon is made like this. We have the OMS <coughs> simulation file at, at the top. Then we have the, mm, we have a build target, which is a command that uh, for building all the stuff, uh, uh, because the code here is actually inside the project, and we, we will give a look. But in principle, you should not know. You can forget that part. And then we have the model. The model is, oh, <coughs> here there is a, 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 new, a, a new thing. There is model while. While is a command of the same file. Say, while climate more data, meaning that there is something that is called climate more data, but then we go in detail on that. And uh, in, in fact, there is a, a file that contains the climate data, and more data is a function that works inside, uh, inside the, the, the component we call read climate, which is a reader of the climate data and say, while there is data in the climate data, please repeat this operation that's stand before. Then we have three main environment, components, connect, and parameters. Parameters, we already have seen them. And then now we go to illustrate uh, each one of the scopes. So, uh, 
in the same file that we see, uh, the, para uh, the, the three elements uh, are like this one, meaning that uh, we, we have, uh, let's say, components. Let's say if I explain, there is something inside. OK, now I split here in, in a more large way. And, uh, and we see there is one thing which is called climate in black. And uh, there is another, uh, another thing which is called water tank dot climate on the other side. And then there is a one thing that is called out and uh, a stream water tank output. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, there is another thing that is called tank and uh, a third thing. What are the black things? The black things are actually three components, meaning that the, the simulation we are running is made of three components. The internal name of the component is on the right in between the red. Uh, if there is no documentation, you have to rely on a file like this to, to understand which, one, which components are present in the software. Uh, from this, we deduce that there are uh, one component which is called water tank that has three. Uh, Three sub uh, th three parts, three sub sub components, and the, the, the first sub components com co contain a climate something. The second one contain an output something, and the third one contain a tank something. Each one climate, output, a tank are actually three Java classes says uh, in uh, at the end. But these are three objects that do three speci specific things. Uh, because the name, the namespace of the, of the thing on the right can be very long, and they will, will see very long, we use some <coughs> name for them. For instance, if uh, one there is, a, we will use some which is uh, uh, org dot uh, dot uh, whatever dot uh, uh, raster reader. You don't want to go along on the old things with that long name, so instead of that, you use a short name that you use. Connect. This is probably the main part of the, of the thing. Uh, in the sense that uh, you have three components, but now you have to connect the components. Uh, here it says that there is a climate rain rate. So say you see the black here climate becomes here a red climate. Is the first before the dot climate. Ray rate inside the class there is a variable which is called ray rate. Uh, this is an input. Oh, um, <coughs> this is a <coughs> an output. Sorry. Okay. <coughs> that goes to the input of the tank ray rate. Yeah, we are, I have two component. One component is called climate the other component is called tank we see in the first in the in the slide before the client uh, the component called climate put out a thing that is called rain rate this goes as input of the tank component if I can Draw things like uh, we usually do, and I didn't do here. We have the tank component, and we have the climate component. What does the climate component? The, the climate components will have 
his own inputs, but in particular there is one input which is called rain rate. <coughs> And this goes inside tank. Then we have tank volume, meaning that here there is a, a thing which is called volume. And this goes inside a thing which is called output volume, which is an input for the <coughs> for the other component. Then we have tank depth. And this goes as second input as the output, which is called depth. And therefore, the, the same thing for velocity and discharge throughout. For you, doesn't say maybe anything Q, but for any hydrologist, Q means discharge. So it's not so explicative for a general audience, but it's absolutely clear for hydrologists. Yeah. It is a uh, something maybe missing here in this uh, in this C file, but you can provide it if you are a, a careful simulator, meaning that you can comment and say, okay. Output is in cubic meter per second. Volume is in cubic meters, and uh, uh, depth is is in meter, for instance, which is an information that we actually have in the main file that you we provide in the following. No, I'm sorry. But can you see the previous slide? Check. Climate tank and now uh, climate tank. The component climate. Okay. Competent climate is internally called water tank dot climate. Instead, the tank component is internally called, uh, called water tank. dot tank and the out component <coughs> is called water tank dot out these are the internal names written in the code these are the names we use for doing our simulation. Who tells you how to <coughs> have this name? Nobody. No. <laughs> you have to read the code, or otherwise you have, we have to provide to you some. The, the user, the, 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 who programs the components, for a good practice, has to provide to you the, the name of the, the internal names to be used in this in these things. Who doesn't do is not a good program. <laughs> uh, we usually don't do because a PhD life of a PhD students is or a master students at the end of his career is pressed by productivity. Publish or perish. So you think to publish and you think to the software that you can use for years then. So you do the things, you don't comment anything. Then six man, months later, then you graduate, you go to a vacation in a beautiful highland in Adesi side on the highest peak of, the, of this world. You go hiking for six months, you, you go back, you don't remember anything of what you did. So you spend other months to understand what you did. So it's better that you document. Finally, the parameters. Here, the same file of the parameters is made a little bit more properly because you need <coughs> the, the first green thing is uh, the, the value, 
but after the comment there is also the unit of measure so you mm -hmm. say here from here you understand the top uh, tank top radius uh, meaning that uh, beside this the tank has uh, some other things that goes <coughs> in and which is top radius out radius <coughs> that and dt which is probably the interval of so actually in the component tank you have the various data that you exchange between components and some data that you have to input for regulating the, the, the workflow of each one components. And th this one is obviously here in the output file you have also the name of the output file which is output CSU. Here you also have the, 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 the top radius strength here is you actually goes the, the values so you say this is equal to 20, this is equal to 0 0.05, and this is equal to 1.0, and this is 4,000. Sorry, this is our input. Yes, this is an input to tank. Uh, so our input is CSV. But in the previous slide, yeah, yeah, no, the input. You have several. There are some inputs that are contained in some files, mm -hmm. and some inputs that you can get directly as parameter, as single number, mm -hmm. in the same file. Mm -hmm. In this case, <laughs> these are single values parameters. You don't, you don't have. Any, if you need a file to contain the parameter, you can put a file at that point. Instead of having top radius, maybe assuming that you can have several top radius, we can put the several top radius in a file, having as an input <coughs> of the... We can call it in that one file after that. But that is commanded by the work of the programmer, not by you. Mm -hmm. This level is the programmer that tells you that uh, the input is made like in that way. more or less we know everything about uh, about this thing in the next step the next